What is happening, Planet Chinchilla fans and visitors? Um, first, I want to go over a couple quick updates here before we get into today's video. Um, first and foremost, I just want to go over kind of the publishing schedule that we're going to be going with from here on out on Planet Chinchilla. Um, the new goal, just to kind of make the site a little bit more unique, is that most of the posts that you find on the blog at planetchinchilla.com are, are going to start having um, some kind of video associated with it, which just means that the publishing routine will pick up. There will be more content for you guys, um, which is more of a thank you just for coming, subscribing, and liking what we have going on on the channel. But in general, you should see an uptick in the amount of videos just to help you guys get more acclimated to owning a chinchilla in general. Um, today's video is a, more of a just Q&A. Um, it's obviously not live, but it's about getting your chinchilla to be comfortable with being held. Um, and I wanted to go over a couple things with this because it's a topic that a lot of people do struggle with. Um, first and foremost, I mean, it takes patience for sure. Um, so you're going to have to have patience with this. I'm going to switch the camera angle here for you in a second and go over to my chinchilla's cage down here. Um, but you have to be patient. I put in this post sp specifically, um, which you should see directly below. Um, one of the biggest things I can tell you to do is invest in one of these pop-up tents. Um, I did this by mistake, or not by mistake, I guess by, by accident because I didn't have a safe room in the beginning. And then when I would let my chinchilla out, naturally she had to be close to me because it's an enclosed area, which was safe for her. But this helped build the bond way faster. We're talking like a week or two, as opposed to using an entire room, which I'll show you the difference here in just a second. Uh, that's tip number one. Tip number two is patience. Tip number three is just be around them, um, talk to them, interact with them. The quicker they can get comfortable with you, the faster all of this is gonna be. Um, that's the biggest key. I mean, get them out of the cage as often as possible. Get them interacting with you. Get down on the floor with them if you have to. Whatever you gotta do, just do it. Um, because it does work. It will make a big difference in the grand scheme of things if you're constantly around them. I even used to have my office um, right next to her, down in the same room that we're in right now. She's in hiding because she hates being on this camera. We're gonna have to work on that for sure. <laughs> but it helps dramatically. Um, and when you do finally get them to like being held, don't push your luck. If you know she wants to get out, here's that animal play tent too real quick. Um, I just step right in. I mean, even me and my son can get in there. I typically only use this if I need her in a really controlled environment to shoot these videos for you guys. Otherwise, she gets this entire room. And what I'm trying to say is, if she's out running around this entire room down here, during the first few weeks of owning them, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for her to be comfortable being picked up because she can just run away from you. And I don't know if you've tried catching your chinchilla yet. I mean, good luck. But it's a lot more difficult than people think to just round these guys up and easily grab them and put them back in the cage. So get something like this. Like I said, I did this on accident. I didn't know it would work so well. I just picked it up and I started using it to keep her safe. And the speed of how comfortable she got with me was pretty awesome. I mean, now she'll jump up in my lap even when she is out in the full room, which is what she typically is now that it is safe for her. But nonetheless, you're still gonna have to have that patience. When you do finally get to the point where you can hold them, Make sure that, you know, respect what they're trying to tell you. If she's squirming, if she's barking, if she's making noises, just put her down. Try again another day, not a big deal. Um, this tent here, I will A, put a link in the description below, and B, if you're on this blog post, the link is either below or up above this video right here. It is super affordable for what you're getting for it. I mean, for you know i don't even know what it is 60 bucks or so i think and it's just kind of folded up right now is why it looks like that and then i have this zipper undone so that i can get in here easily for what it's giving you for 60 bucks i mean the ability to actually have that relationship with your chinchilla i don't know who wouldn't want to pay that i mean you're already paying for you know the big cage for them and everything else so another 60 bucks to get them acclimated to you within weeks instead of months or even a year 
that's huge. Um, but yeah, guys, don't feel alone if you're not getting them to want to be held right away. It's extremely common. Some of these guys take years to warm up. I just got super lucky um, that she did so quickly and just stick with it. I mean, keep talking to them, keep getting them out for playtime, do what you got to do, use treats. Um, obviously in moderation, you don't want to go crazy with sugar filled treats with these guys. It can mess up their stomachs. But if somebody asked me if do chinchillas want to be held, I would say it takes time and no right off the bat, but will they eventually like being held? Yes, absolutely. Um, and how do you get your chinchilla to like you holding them? Just trial and error and warm it up to each other. That's it. Um, outside of that, you know, just keep going. That's all I can really tell you. I wish I could be a lot more informative than that, but that's really the experience that I've had. That about wraps up what I wanted to cover in today's video. Make sure that if you are new to this channel, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, smash that little icon, the bell, so that you get notified when I make another one. And get used to seeing these throughout all the blog posts. It doesn't matter what your question is. This question is specifically how to get your chinchilla to want to be held. But any of the other questions on the 120 some post on planetchinchilla.com, I'm going to try and get these all upgraded with a video for you. Um, and that's what you can have to look forward to for everybody who's been coming. I appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.